welcome. Let us observe the sun. The sun produced two strong R2 moderate M-class solar flares today. While it is of course nice to see our sun produce strong solar flares, both the M7.9 solar flare that peaked at 9.49 coordinated universal time. And the M6.2 solar flare that peaked at 15.59 coordinated universal time. Came from sunspot region 3098. This sunspot region is currently close to the west limb and will soon rotate out of view. A case of too little too late. Both solar flare were also rather impulsive, short duration, and the M7.9 solar flare did not launch a coronal mass ejection. The M6.2 solar flare will likely also not launch a coronal mass ejection. Not a big loss, as any resulting plasma cloud would likely not have been aimed at Earth anyway. This CME model, shows the direction of the CME from the 15th, and looks like Earth may get a glancing blow on the 18th. The interplanetary magnetic field. The interplanetary magnetic field, IMF, plays a huge role in how the solar wind interacts with Earth's magnetosphere. In this article we will learn what the interplanetary magnetic field is and how it affects auroral activity here on Earth. Around solar maximum, when the sun reaches her maximum activity, many sunspots are visible on the visible solar disk. These sunspots are filled with magnetism and large magnetic field lines which run material along them. These field lines are often hundreds of times stronger than the surrounding dipole. This causes the magnetic field around the sun to be a very complex magnetic field with many disturbed field lines. The magnetic field of our sun doesn't stay around the sun itself. The solar wind carries it through the solar system until it reaches the heliopause. The heliopause is the place where the solar wind comes to a stop and where it collides with the interstellar medium. Because the sun turns around her axis once in about 25 days, the interplanetary magnetic field has a spiral shape which is called the Parker spiral. For the lunar observers, the moon is in the waning gibbous phase. Illumination, 63%. This is the position of the planets today. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you. No, no.